Welcome to the Recreating You game. This is a live course that we delivered between 2018 and 2020. We've now gone on to do a new program that we love called the Smart Soul Experience. But I wanted to put this out there onto YouTube because we had thousands of people that had extraordinary results and I think it's just an amazing program. So I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So here's the deal. Please bring a friend. This is way more fun to do with someone else. Do the days in order. It's supposed to be done day one through day 12. There's a reason for that. It builds on itself. Have a great time and you're going to have amazing ahas about your inner experience. This will cure, yes, cure stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and overwhelm in your life, as well as giving you direction on the next right thing for you to do in every moment. Have a great time. Enjoy the program. All right, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Day two, day two of the Recreating You game. Yesterday was such an important play of the day. The exercise of I'm closed, that means what I'm thinking is not true or not gonna happen, is beginning to get you aware of something that you didn't know. Yes, you've been feeling stressed your whole life, right? Yes, you've been feeling that, but that experience being connected only to your thoughts is the new thing. Nothing outside of you creates closing. And this is a completely new concept and a lot of people don't trust it at first. They think that person is making me feel bad or that situation or tr big trouble's coming. I feel stressed out and worried because big trouble's coming in my life and things are gonna fall apart and it's real, it's true. And it's not true, this is not true. This is really important to know. And so one of the biggest things we're doing from right from the beginning is getting you to start realizing that this is connected, your internal guidance system is connected to your thoughts and to notice which thoughts are not true. Okay, now we're not gonna get to that. Tomorrow we're gonna start working with your thoughts. Today, what I want to do is connect you to something that's deeper and richer inside of yourself, okay? So I recommend for the rest of your life, when you feel stressed, say, I'm closed, that means what I'm thinking is not true or not gonna happen. Eventually you'll, you'll know the last part of it and you'll just be like, oh, I'm closed. That means that's not true or that's not gonna happen, right? But for now, use the whole mantra. Keep those cards up and keep using it. But today's practice, day two's practice, day two's practice, is what I call dropping into your listening. Dropping into your listening. Now we did a little bit of that yesterday when I ran you through the exercise. Feeling your feet and feeling your hands at the same time, and they get a little tingly and a little warm. For some people, that was just amazing. Just even having that tingling happen, it was amazing. But what's important is your IGS resides in your body and you have to be feeling your body and connect to your body. And a lot of people run around in their heads. Have you ever driven home and you don't remember the drive home or you've gotten a bruise and, and then that bruise on your leg, you're like, how did I get that? Where did that come from? Uh, been in a conversation with somebody and then all of a sudden you realize you weren't listening to a thing they said or you missed everything they just said. That is living in your head and most of us live in our head. We've been trained to be thinking, 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 thinking all the time and it's not what we wanna be doing when you're using your IGS, all right? So the key is if you're having trouble connecting with your IGS, you're not realizing when you're stressed, this is a great practice. And then also this is what I call a set point. I train my students to drop into their listening, feeling their feet, feeling their hands, and then we add this piece, which is listening to the sounds around you. Like I hear the humming of the fridge, I hear a bird outside. There's just this white noise in the house right now. And, and so here's the thing. The sounds you don't want to name just like I did. You want to experience them. They're waves, okay? So you can experience them as a vibration. Feeling your feet and feeling your hands and then experiencing it, trying not to have your, not, your mind name them. And the way to have your mind not name them is to Focus on your hands and your feet more. Focus on your hands and feet more as you're listening. Now, some of you are gonna notice that you feel like your nervous system goes, Ooh. there's a relaxed sensation that happens when you do this. Some of you may feel like you're distracted and you can't get there just yet. Don't worry, this is a practice. It's like working a muscle. You gotta practice it. So that's your practice, your play of the day is to do the listening practice. Feet, hands, experience the sound around you for between 30 to 90 seconds, five to seven times throughout the day. You can do it while you're in your car. Notice how your hands feel on the steering wheel, okay? Notice the sounds around you in your car while you're feeling your feet. You can do it while you're standing in line at a coffee shop. 
feet, hands, listening. You can do it in a meeting. If you're at a business meeting, you can sit there with your feet, hands, and listening. You'll be surprised at what happens. And that's what I want you to notice. When you, this is dropping into the present moment. When you drop into the present moment with your physical senses, your body, your nervous system begins to quiet. This is a foundational practice that you'll need for tomorrow's play of the day. Now, this doesn't just go in order. I'm going to be throwing in different practices, but the first three days, they kind of go in order doing the closed exercise, you know, mantra, and then today, and then tomorrow I'm going to add another one. And this is a foundational piece for that. But dropping into your listening will be something you, what I hope you'll use for the rest of your life when you want to use your IGS. I had one client, he contacted me. I had him start the listening practice. I do coaching and I had him start this listening practice in about 15 minutes after our call. He sat down to practice it in his office and all of a sudden he contacted me because on his credenza in his office were these gorgeous flowers that were highly fragrant. And when he sat down to do his listening practice all of a sudden and was with his body, because he's very highly in his head, um, he suddenly realized that there was these gorgeous smelling flowers in his office and he went to his assistant and said, when did these flowers arrive? And she goes, I put them in your office oh, three or four days ago. And he had not even been out of his head, he works in the financial industry, out of his head long enough to smell these flowers at his office. And, and it was his body began to wake up to what was happening around him. Our body lives in the, in, the, in the current moment and that's what being present is. And so we're programmed between the ages of zero and seven. I'm gonna talk about that more tomorrow. We're programmed between the ages of zero and seven with most of our beliefs and our thinking. And that thinking hurts us in the present moment today because oftentimes what's happening in this present moment has nothing to do with our programming or what we think we think is happening. And if we stay up here, instead of being in our body, we miss things, we become less powerful. Our superpowers are dulled. So this is a beginning step for that. So keep doing the mantra of I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. And then do five to seven times dropping into your listening for 30 to 90 seconds. Okay. 30 to 90 seconds, feet, hands, experiencing, not naming the sounds around you. Okay. I want you to go forward and have an amazing day today. Remember, I'm sending you love and blessings. Have a great, great day. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more deep into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com, and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing. You can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. SmartSoulAcademy.com.